Fine. <sighs> Smile. Wait, what? Now? Don't forget to say cheese. Cheese. Oh, hey, Nora. I was just greasing Max's slide. I'm in. Speak morning breath. I think you're going to be late for biology. Walk away. Deal? It's not over until I say it's over. And believe me, it's not over. Yeah, well, I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. If you won't end your pranks, then I will. Oh, are these all your little prank buttons? Okay, Phoebe, just step away from my desk, all right? Ooh, am I getting warmer? What's this big red button? This looks important. Do not... Press that. So you don't want me to press the big red button. Okay. Oops. You just pushed the self-destruct button. Yeah, right. You just pushed the self-destruct button. Blair will self-destruct in 10 minutes. Ooh, fancy light show and talking computer. Someone spent their whole allowance on a prank? No, Phoebe, my prank was not pranking you and just watching you break down. There must be something in all this prank stuff you had ordered that can help us? Complete obliteration in 20 seconds. Forget it, Phoebe. We're done. Game over. History, toast, kick the bucket, kaput, bought the farm, roll the credits, it's over! It's not over till I say it's over. Self-destruct in five, four, I don't remember Hootie having any rules. Hey, Billy, let's find our old Hootie DVDs and show them to Chloe. No, you're not. <laughs> you wouldn't find them anyway. I hid those a long time ago. <laughs> it's cute when they try to hide things. Chloe, we have something for you. <gasps> cool, an owl. Not just any owl. Check this out. Hootie don't care. Hootie don't care. What you think about that? Excuse me, Hootie. Could you please help me carry my groceries? Hootie don't care. <laughs> that was funny. I don't remember Hootie harassing grandmas. Hootie. You can't just eat that candy without paying. That's still. Who don't care? Maybe we 
shouldn't have shown that to Chloe. She's a good kid. I don't think we have anything to worry about. Chloe don't care. Our master now. No way. We just gotta put our foot down. Chloe Thunderman, get up here this instant! We've had enough of this young lady. No more Chloe don't care, and no more Hootie. That was a mistake. You can't lock us out. Chloe don't care. <laughs> Chloe don't care? You showed her hoodie the hook. <laughs> it's pronounced owl. Come on, we've been out here long enough. We need to talk about this. Hello? Chloe don't care. All right, that's it. I am breaking the door down. Hey, it doesn't matter if we're inside or outside. The problem is she stopped caring. We need to find something that she cares about again. Chloe loves watching Cutesy Cow with us. We can do that. That's a great idea, Nora. <sighs> Look, everyone, it's Cutesy Cow. Let's watch it together as a family. <gasps> I don't know what she's going to say. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh, Hank, you sound like you're coming down with a cold. No, 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 no way. I am Thunder Man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's, he's gonna super sneeze! Uh oh! <laughs> Sweet honey, but daddy's fine. Not you. That. <laughs> you hear that, Billy? She cares again. That's great. <laughs> Get out me secret bunker, you scallywag. <laughs> what are you doing in here, Dorcas? Hey, nothing weird. <laughs> the bird can stay. You have to go. Sorry, it's just I've tried everything with Link's little brother, and believe it or not, he finds me a little boring. A little? Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> so I told him that this was my secret bunker, and all of your gadgets were hidden treasure. And he bought that? Yeah, I mean, look how much fun he's having wearing that eye patch. <laughs> my evil eye patch? You mean that harmless little thing on his head that's glowing an ominous red color? That's new. Uh -huh. So's this. That's a custom-made table. But it's fun! All right, how are we gonna destroy that eye patch without hurting Harris? There will be no destroying the patch, Phoebe. Why not? Because I had to risk my life to get that. I mean, I risked Billy's life, but still, lives were risked, Phoebe. We have to fix this. We? You are the one that lied to Harris about this being your bunker. Oh. It's clearly an evil layer. You lied to me? And froze me? Okay, I know that that sounds bad, but whoa, that is a wee wee big night white. <laughs> no! Gloss, you said this was fireproof. I know, and now you have proof that it catches on fire. Oh no, it's time for Harris's surprise party. What? It's time for Harris's surprise party. Surprise party? I love surprises. Did you guys just 
please ruin the surprise? <laughs> no, not all of it. We can tell you about the pirates or laser tag or... I'm gonna stop talking now. You ruined my surprise party and now I'm gonna ruin it for everyone else! <laughs> my swoosh! No, my swoosh! Maybe you hurt my swoosh! Now that everyone's out, where is this freakish little fireball? That was rude. Yeah! <laughs> my clothes. <laughs> Harris, look, I'm not gonna fight you, okay? All I wanted was for us to be close, but I took it too far. This is all my fault. Which part exactly? The lying to me? The freezing me? The ruining my surprise? Hey, don't forget about our raven! He was a hoot! <laughs> Shush! Ravens do not hoot and we are not bonding! You're right. We're blasting that eye patch off your adorable little face. Uh. Remember when Phoebe lied to you? I'm about to throw a fireball at you. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ruin the surprise? Ow! Nora? Of course. <laughs> we have our own laser with a bow on it. Nora, how did you know we needed help? Billy told me, and I knew it was time to do the right thing. Of course you did. You're a superhero. And I am a super villain. Quick, Nora, zap off the eye patch. Gently. Cute lasers. I'll call you when I need a mole removed. <laughs> Let's see if he thinks this trick shot's cute. Off the mirror, off the treasure chest. Let's yappy more zappy. <laughs> You were too evil for this world, Patchy. Harris, are you hurt? I'm fine now. Thank you for saving me from that evil eye patch. What's that? A fan? No, it's a super efficient bi directional wind turbine that can generate enough energy to power the entire school for a whole year. So it's a big fan. Sorry, sis, but this is Gromatic's time to shine. <laughs> The only thing that's gonna shine is the floor after I mop it with you. <laughs> Not now, Billy. You ready to stick it to Phoebe and Max? Operation Sibling Sabotage is a go. Are we really gonna call it that? Can't something be mine today? So, Mr. Thunderman, what do you have for us? This is Mr. Windy. My fan. You mean your high-efficiency, bi-directional, power-generating wind turbine, right? Sorry, my big fan. And what does it do? I don't know. I think what Billy means by I know is that Mr. Windy generates power by harnessing the energy of room air currents and amplifying them. I'm guessing. Why don't you give them a demonstration? are stuck, and I'm afraid if I push them too hard, it'll break. <laughs> I'm just going to give him a hand. Wait, that's not right. It's spinning the wrong way. Sister reliving her glory days? Yep. Hmm. Then I'm afraid you're disqualified, both of you. What? You can't disqualify me. I'm a champion. I've got a medal. Well, on behalf of scientists everywhere, give me that. Look, sis. Good people of science, you have suffered through enough duds. You deserve to see true greatness. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present? Uh, I'll take it from here, Nora. <laughs> Behold, the Gromatic 2.0! I expect 
expand the tomato or did I expand your mind? By an invention like this could end world hunger. Congratulations, Nora Thunderman. You are this year's science fair winner. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna, gonna hold this for. <laughs> You're home now, buddy. You're home. Uh, shouldn't you turn that off? You got it, hottie. No problem here, just a little minor malfunction. <laughs> what did you guys do? Just thought you both a lesson. Yeah, don't mess with tomatoes. No. Take over your siblings' projects. Oh, hey, that works too! Uh, in light of this debacle, give me that. Ah! Uh, well, I mean, technically, it did what I wanted, and nothing melted. Uh, Max? Pieces. Oh, I can think of 500 reasons why I don't want to do that. Please, Daddy, for me. <laughs> How can I say no to my baby girl? How'd you do that? Cuteness is my other superpower. Wow, having a baby looks really uncomfortable. I know, the big belly, the swollen feet. Yeah. And mom doesn't look too good either. Oh, hey, Dad, if you have time in the hospital, maybe you can build my new dollhouse. Oh. Hank, my thunder surges are getting stronger. Okay, it's fine. Just, you know, if it happens again, make sure you don't get the... System down. Estimated repair time, two hours. Oh, no! Okay, honey, it's fine. Don't panic. Just, uh, I'll fly you to the hospital myself. We can't! What if I have the baby midair? Remember what happened the last time? Why are you pointing at me? What happened last time? Oh, no! What? What? Oh, no. It's time! No, no, it's not. Yes, it no, no, it's not. It can't be. Uh, you're gonna have to hold it in. Hold it in? I can't hold it in! Oh, you can't have a superhero baby at a non-superhero hospital. I know! Well, I guess we'll just have to have it here at the house. Who's gonna deliver it? You are! What happened last time? I don't know, Billy. Maybe Max is right. Now that the baby's coming, I'll just be another kid in the house. At least you still pay attention to me. Billy? The rooster goes... Moo! That don't give you enough time. I guess my cute years are over. What are you talking about? You're still cute. Well, not as cute as that baby, but how can you compete with a baby? Attention shoppers! Please join us for our cutest baby contest, starting in five minutes. Woohoo! That's how I'm gonna compete. You'll see. I'm gonna win cutest baby. <laughs> Good luck entering without a parent. Come on, you're the dad. Oh, man. What? 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 portion of our contest. Coming up next, we what? have... Introduce me, Dad! Hi, fellow parents! Uh, you should really see my baby crow! Stars and stripes, that's a huge baby! Oh, uh, that's no baby. That's a little girl. She can't be in the contest. The sign says ages zero to nine. That's months. Should put it on the sign, Joji Pants. Now let's go. I'm not getting any younger. Yeah, that right. <laughs> Fine, let's see the giant baby crawl. All right, kids, watch how a cute baby does it. Hip hop. <laughs> So many. 
many adorable babies and so many wonderful bargains here at Tots. Get to the winner! Oh, they grow up so fast. And the winner of the cutest baby contest is... Brittany Williams! Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? You picked the drooler? What does she have that I don't? A birth certificate from this year. Please take your tiny dad and leave! Fine. I crawl out of here, but I know how to walk. Wait, who won second place? Not you. Okay. Sorry, she takes after her mother. Nora, can we go now? I want to meet the baby and show it my stash. I'm not leaving. Why not? Just because the baby's cute doesn't mean you can't be cute too. It's not just about being cute. If I'm not the baby of the family anymore, I won't be special. It's okay, Nora. I don't know if you know this, but I used to be the baby of the family. And then you came along, and I was so upset. Really? Yeah. I even covered you in stamps to mail you away. But then you smiled at me, and I didn't have the heart to do it. And before I knew it, my baby sister was my best friend. Thanks, Billy. There you guys are. I've been to every store in town looking for you. Let's go meet your new sister. It's a girl? I have to teach her about bows. There's so many things that can go wrong. Glad she's taking it well. You were a mess when she was born. You remember when you covered her in stamps and mailed her to Abu Dhabi? That's between you, me, and the nice royal family who mailed her back. Smile for the camera, Chloe. Smile. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, hey, oh. you activated her superpower. Oh, she has bubble power. That's so cute. <laughs> hmm. Her bubbles didn't do that before. <laughs> also didn't do that. They look a little scared of the new kid, don't they? I think I'll stick around a while. I have a life in the Thunderman house is about to get interesting. Look, not that you would even care, but I think Oyster is cute, and I kind of wanted to talk to him. You and Oyster? Oyster that's, that's downstairs? Oyster in my band? How many oysters do you know? Phoebe, Oyster is a bad boy. He's a rocker. He sweats poetry and shreds like a six-arm mutant. So? I sweat. I shred. Cool guitar, whatever. I don't care. Thanks. She's my heart and soul. Found her at a yard sale under a pair of granny panties. Oh, I'm caught on your granny panty guitar. I mean, whatever. I don't care. Get out! I'll get out when I want to! Point me towards the stairs. <laughs> hey, just looking to score some paper towels. I'm so sorry for ruining your band practice. Are you kidding? That was the most rock and roll thing I've ever seen. Max never told me his sister was so sweet. Thanks. I mean, whatever, I don't care. You are some kind of thrash guy. <laughs> yup. It's me and her against the world. Has been ever since I lost Michaela. Wait, as in goodbye, Michaela? Those lyrics were so beautiful. Can you write a song about me one day? No. <laughs> Excuse me? I only write songs about my guitars. Wait, so Michaela is a guitar? She was. Until I accidentally dropped her out of a hot air balloon. <laughs> Thought I'd never find love again until I met Patty. Oh, I see now. He's crazy. <laughs> he is cute. 
Maybe if I squint really hard, I won't see the crazy. <laughs> nope, still crazy. We really aren't a good match. I hate it when Max is right. Oyster, I have something to tell you. I'm not really sure what Max is doing here. Excuse me for a second, Oyster. Patty. What are you doing here, Max? I'm gonna show Oyster Bad Phoebe's a lie, break you up, and order a mushroom calzone to go. Seriously? Yeah, I'm super hungry. And yeah, you're about to be super single. Max, you should have stayed home because you just woke up Bad Phoebe. Yes, Mrs. Wong. Oyster, since you like my sister so much, I spent my birthday money on jumbo pictures to show you who she really is. Dinner and a show. Aw, oh, sedelic. This is your bad girl at the petting zoo with the cute little sheep last week. Yeah, right before I shaved my initials into his fuzzy little butt. Here is Phoebe's idea of a good time at the beach. Is that a metal detector? Yeah, I use it to trip lifeguards. <laughs> and there she is helping an old lady cross the street. What's wrong with that? Uh, look at the sheep one again. <laughs> you look really cute in this picture. Aw, thank you. Hey. Hey, there they are, Hidden Bill's cutest couple. Hey, I'm really sorry that I interrupted your date. He's being nice. We should leave before something heavy hits us. No, Phoebe, I'm being sincere, okay? I, I even got you a gift to show Oyster you really are the ultimate rocker girl. Chainsaw! <laughs> He's gonna give you guys matching mohawks. Soft. Phoebe, come on. You're the baddest girl I know. You got this. No, Oyster, I got nothing. Because I'm not a bad girl. What are you talking about? Mm, I'm a good girl. I love sheep, and I think metal detectors are cool. I found this earring at the beach. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but we're just not really a good match. <gasps> All right, guys, I want a clean match. Your timeouts for everybody. Wow, paper, laser, shoot! Ow! I've got a good feeling about this next round. Rock, paper, laser, shoot! Ow! I've got a good feeling about this next round. Alert, alert, pizza delivery approaching. Rock, paper, laser, shoot! Rock, paper, later! This is bad. Jinx! You owe me a new thunder monitor. Seriously, if you have an extra one, this is the time to speak up. The thunder monitor's been broken for a day and you're just calling me now? Well, I fixed it, but Nora has concerns. <laughs> Prison a kick butt. Did you do something new with your hair? We have to fix this before mom and dad come home and see. Do you think you can help us? Don't ask me, ask my jingle. When you're in a hurry, don't you worry. Call the furry, fix it. Are you done? If it's broken, I'm not joking. I will come and fix it. F-I-X-I-T. I I will fix it. So can you fix it? Let's just talk about my price. What do you want? All I can eat Italian gelato. Deal. Yes, we're home. Oh no, we can't let mom and dad come in the living room. Uh, hey, mom and dad. Uh, I thought you guys just went to go see a movie. Them's the rules was sold out for the second day in a row. There must be somewhere in the world where we can see it. Mm. Let's ask the Thunder Monitor. Thunder Monitor. No, don't go in there. Well, why not? Because 
You guys don't need to go see a movie when Billy and I can act it out right here for you, not in the living room. Yeah, we've read all of the books. Our story begins with a man named Jebediah. Kids, I don't think... Shh, it's starting, it's starting. Glossy, you fixed it. That's right. Now, everybody. F-I-X-I-T, I will fix it. Activating heat mode. Whoa. My gelato! It's melting! Melting! Don't worry, I'll save it! <laughs> See ya! No! Remember, we know nothing. Why is this happening? Yeah, why is this happening? Why is the Thunder Monitor doing that? Yeah, why is the Thunder Monitor doing that? Why are you repeating everything we're saying? Yeah, why is we repeating everything you're saying? Activating wind mode. This is our life now! Billy, we have to end this! But I just got my kite going! Mom! Dad! We broke the Thunder Monitor playing rock, paper, laser! You lasered it? Are you yelling because of the noise? Or because you're incredibly mad at us? I can't believe it! Remember what Jebediah said? If your youngins break the thunder monitor, you show them mercy. Oh my gosh, Barb, they made it all up. I knew Billy reading a book was too good to be true. Hey guys, watching our movie? No, we're watching something good. It's Chloe's favorite TV show, The Wonder Flubbies. It's good if you're six. You made us watch it twice. Because I'm 13. Do the math. <laughs> shows that are trying to sell you toys and ice cream. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Hey, kids, do you like toys and ice cream? Yes. yes. Then you'll love Scoop Du Jour's ginormous Super Scoop ice cream drone Sunday. Ooh. Delivered straight to your door by a super cool flying drone. Available for a limited time only. Awesome. Can we get one? Well, you bet your hot fudge we can. <laughs> Eating ice cream from a flying robot will make a fantastic family memory. Couldn't agree more. It's moments like that why we had four kids. Five. Five kids. <laughs> then it's settled. We're getting that Sunday. Yay! Just not today. Yay! What? what? <laughs> You. Your dad and I are going to Metroburg Theater to see a play. I got us front row seats to Annie Get Your Ray Gun. Take notes, kids. This is how you husband. You'll enjoy that Sunday even more when we can all share it together. I promise. Be good, kids. Okay. Bye. So we're ordering that Sunday, right? I already ordered it. But mommy and daddy said to wait till we can make memories. The commercial said it's for a limited time only. That means that they might run out. Oh, you did the right thing. It's magnificent. It's miraculous. It's pooping amazing. Bye. I love you. Furball. <gasps> you guys are gonna rob your parents of their precious family memory without me? I hope you get brain freeze. I thought you said I didn't have a brain. Make up your mind. Guys, Colosso's right. Mom and Dad will be upset if we eat this without them. So what do we do now? We put family first and do the right thing. <laughs> we did not. 
do the right thing. I can't feel my face. You guys are lightweight. I cannot let them know we ate that ice cream. Tuck in your gut. Hi, guys. Hey, parents, you're drone early. Sorry, I meant drone. Uh, turns out the tickets were for next week. Take notes, kids. This is not how to husband. But the good news is we can eat the ginormous super scoop ice cream drone Sunday together! What? A <laughs> uh, good idea. That sounds awesome. We ordered it on the drive home. Mm -hmm. Oh, that must be it. It's pooping amazing. <laughs> I just want to say how much, how much it means to us to share these special family moments with you guys. When you kids are all grown up. <laughs> Memories like these will warm our hearts. My heart's full of ice cream. Yeah, mine too. Oh, hey, Hank, let's make a video. Oh, yeah, great idea, honey. Uh, Billy and Nora, since you two waited so patiently, you both get the first bite. Here we go. Guess we're doing this. I can't do this. Neither can I. What? We thought you guys wanted the ice cream drone Sunday. We did, which is why we ate one two hours ago. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> We're really sorry. If it makes you feel any better, I'm never saying ice cream again. Dang it! <laughs> well, we're still gonna have to punish you guys. Yeah, you two are grounded. And how are we supposed to eat all this ice cream by ourselves? Wait, where'd it go? In my belly, buttheads! <laughs> Save some for me, Dr. Bunny. <laughs> no, Max. If someone finds out you can clone, they might get an inkling that we're not your typical suburban family. No one will inkle. There will be no inkling. She's a perfect copy of you. Same annoying voice, same cackling laugh, same dopey face. Okay, I get, get it. it. How do you stand him? It's not easy. <sighs> Don't worry. I'll be with her the whole time. I just want to see how she works in the real world. I don't think so, Max. Phoebe, this keyboard's not going to play itself. Actually, it has that option. Shut it, Billy. I need my help. OK, I won't let you take her to Cherry's Bake Sale, but maybe she can shelf books for me at the library. And don't mess this up, Max. You'll expose us all. Well, since we're going to the library, I should probably return that book on neutrons, or there's going to be a charge. <laughs> oh, me. If only your jokes were as good as your cloning. You are just like her. Should have dialed back on the sass. <laughs> are you okay? Numbers are made of candy. <laughs> Max? Hey, Phoebe. So, how's it going there? What have you done? Oh, good, good. So, hey, little problem here, and I don't want to worry you, but... What's happening? Max, what is going on? It turns out your twin isn't as bright as I thought. Yeah, I know you're dumb. And not me, your other twin. Nora, Billy, I have to run out for a couple minutes. Okay, I'll lure clone Phoebe out of the table, then you grab her. Duct tape and rope. Should I be worried that you just happen to have this stuff handy? Not worried, thankful. Oh, good! Max, you're here! Your sister has gone crazy! I'm sorry about Phoebe. It's all the sugar. She can't handle it. Here, watch. Hey, Phoebe, you see the cupcake? You want it? Go get it, girl. <laughs> oh, hi, Phoebe. Uh, she names all her cupcakes Phoebe. <laughs> okay, she's got the sugar shakes. All right. Maybe uh, we should help her. Uh, or maybe you should go help that baby narwhal stuck in that tree outside. This is exactly what we've been fighting against. All right, great. Now that that's taken care of, I'll take the package to the layer while you head to the talent show. <gasps> talent show? Woo! 
no, wrong Phoebe! She pinned me down, Max, and shoved a cupcake in my mouth. Uh-oh. This is not good. Yeah, I gotta take some of the blame for this. Some? You made her? You are her. Hank. Do you see that? Two Phoebes? I'd say Max is cloning again, but I only see one foot. Okay, we have to do something before Mom and Dad find out. Too late. Cloning? Are you too crazy? You could expose us all. Well, in my defense, look at the materials I was working with. First, we're gonna take care of... Look, I'm Bendy too! Phoebe, two point, duh. Then you two are gonna save Billy and Nora's dance. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna have to use our powers, but just this once and do not get caught. Way to take charge, Mom. Yeah, and then you two are getting punished. So you had me, then you lost me. end up doing with my Phoebe and Colossal clones anyway? They went to a better place. How could you? you? Well, oh, no. No, not that. I took them to a better place. And Maggie's farm. You're a cute little donkey. Donkeys go mmm. Hey, Chucklehead. I'm not a clone. That's been a horrible mistake. Hi, Max. Get on my room. Aw, look at our sweet little angel playing with her. <laughs> Why are your toys so pointy? Young lady, you promised you'd pick up your toys. I know, but it's so much easier not to. Chloe, if you say you're going to do something, you do it. A thunder promise is as strong as thundertanium. Okay, I'll clean up. Woohoo! Oh, no, that sounds like... Greetings, Thunder Fam! Are you floating? Floating? That would be crazy. <laughs> no, I'm on an invisible skateboard. Bobby, do sing, do sing! Oh, uh, Chloe, he's probably tired. <laughs> so listen, I'm here because my scientist at Blobco started a fashion division. Oh, you're making clothes now? Is there a family discount? <laughs> No. <laughs> anyway, I want Thunderman to be the face of our new fall line. Oh, mm, Robin, I mean, I'm flattered, but you know, I'm retired as a superhero. Oh, but you've been the face of so many products. That is true. <laughs> you can sell anything. Well, I am pretty amazing. <laughs> then you'll promise you'll help me? I promise. Ah! Right, where do I sign? Right here, on this invisible contract. Oh. <laughs> Underwear? Not just underwear, it's Thunderwear! <laughs> it makes the everyday person look and feel like a superhero! Daddy's a butt face! Lobin, my face does not belong on your tidy brighties. Oh, you don't sound as excited as I thought you'd be. Because you put my cheeks on people's cheeks! Well, we ordered two million of these, and operators are standing by! <gasps> You're not gonna break your promise, are you? My daddy would never break a thunder promise. Of course he wouldn't. I won't break my promise. I'll be your butt face. <laughs> Thank goodness, because we're having a thunderwear launch party later today at Splatburger, and I need you to wear these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. The man of thunder is wearing my unders. <laughs> seen Blobbin this excited. Yeah, me either. I'm not doing it. What? I'm not going to embarrass myself in a restaurant full of people. You're not going to help Blobbin? 
Yes, he is, Chloe, because your daddy promised, and a thunder promise is as strong as thundertanium. Uh, unless a giggling rich guy wants to put your face on his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we had another box of Thunder Manicotti. Oh, expired three years ago. I'll take my chances. <laughs> Chloe! Hey guys, what's up? Why are your toys everywhere? You promised you'd pick up your toys. So, you didn't keep your promise to blob in later. Hank, this is what you get for breaking your thunder promise in front of Chloe. I think you know what you need to do. Sorry about the two hour drum roll, but I don't think our special guest is gonna show. Think again! <gasps> Where were you? I forgive you, strut your stuff. <laughs> and now, former superhero, Thunderman! Look at him rocking those thunderwear. So fierce, so comfortable. The breathable cotton allows me to stay super cool when I'm dropping the kids off at school or showing up at Splatburger to keep my promises. And with our patented stretch and snap technology, say goodbye to saggy drooping drawers. Goodbye, saggy drooping drawers. Isn't he amazing? Just like a pair. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Buy none, get two free. Well, let's give it a try. <laughs> Sorry, Blobbin. They can't all be winners or make sense. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. At least I didn't put my face on it. <laughs> Catch you later, Thunder fam. <laughs> proud of you, honey. Oh, well, I don't care how silly I look as long as our little girl learns her lesson. Goodbye, saggy drooping jaws. Clear out, bird brain. You gotta get back to my epic fail video so I can win that chirper contest. The first video to get to one million re-chirps wins $10,000. Let me guess, you have some ridiculous over-the-top plan for the winnings? No, I'm gonna buy a tiny island in the South Pacific where I'll start a dictatorship called Maxilandia. <laughs> Idea, Nora. You're fired. <laughs> Phoebe, are you okay? Uh, let me uh, use your phone to call the paramedics. Nice try, Max. You are not posting this video of me falling. I've worked too, too hard. I <laughs> do, too. <laughs> Time for the epic fail arena to buy me my island. <laughs> Uploading Phoebe's fall to my chirper page. Rubbing Phoebe's phone in my armpits. <laughs> All right, here we go. What's going on? Where's my video? Deleted. <laughs> A few hours ago, I came down here to rub a bunch of your stuff under my armpit. <laughs> Instead, I found your computer was open and you were still logged in. What? That's impossible. I never forget to log out. Unless someone else forgot to log out. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I had some important work to do this morning.
out of here, Max, and stop trying to make me fail. It's not gonna work. I know. You're too good out there. Which is why I'm shoving you in here. What? What? Max! Max? What are you doing? Time for this swan to lay an egg. sure makes Phoebe look muscly. What's up, Phoebe? I think that's Max. Gear it up, girlfriend! Yeah, that's the stuff. Chickens out of the coop. Time to fly. This got weird quick. like work. You don't have to schedule an appointment with my secretary. Who's dumb enough to be your secretary? I can fit you in for a walk and talk three weeks from today. <laughs> Cherry, you're working for Max? I need this for my resume. You think I can just waltz right into an online college? <laughs> oh, and Thieves, check out the best part of being Prez. I have my own personal flunky. Hey, flunky, get on in here. What's up, Prez? <laughs> Is this lady bothering you? Because I wish she'd bother me. Well, I figured you'd treat your presidency as a joke, so... I came up with some ideas to better the school. I call it my three-pronged approach. Max, as your VP, I need to know how your meeting with the principal went. I handled it. Check out the new mascot. That extreme raptor left me hanging. Because he's too busy bringing school spirit. Raptors! 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 And check out everyone's heavy backpacks. Oh, wait. They don't have any. <laughs> See, I convinced the principal to make all textbooks available for download. Genius? Pretty much. You rock, Max. Without my backpack, I'm like three inches taller. Hello, basketball team. Let me guess, you're putting healthy snacks in the vending machines? Nope, I'm replacing the vending machines with a smoothie machine. This is gonna be a big unveiling ceremony. I could probably get you an invite. School spirit, healthy foods, backpack reform? You stole my- Three-pronged approach? <laughs> That's why people are gonna remember Max Thunderman as the greatest class president in the history of Hinville High. That has always been my dream, sir. But it's my dream! Oh yeah, I forgot. Why'd you ever give up on that? Are you really gonna let Max do that to you? You heard him. The vice president has no power. I can't do anything. Except become president if something should happen to Max. Please, Nora, I'm not in the mood for one of your devious... What did you have in mind? Mm. <laughs> Check out this article on Max's latest issue of Evil Teen. <laughs> Exotic Russian plant guarantees a week of tummy trouble. <laughs> Hold up, Angel. I gotta taste all Max's food before he eats it. You know, in case it's poisoned. Or delicious. No, no, fuck you, you don't want that. Mmm, mmm. Pizza's good, Max. Oh, but my tummy's not. Oh, oh I'm starving. Look like 
like a snowman on his invisible motorcycle. Blame Flunky. And myself for being friends with a guy named Flunky. Yeah, that Russian plan hit him quick. What Russian plan? Uh... <laughs> ah! Why'd you do that? I'm sorry, I panicked. You know something. Spill it. This isn't right. I don't deserve to be here. There goes my movie. This machine was my brother's idea, and it's my fault that he can't be here to make the inaugural smoothie. What is she doing? I think she's feeling bad for what she did. It's kind of sweet. Do you have a boyfriend? Oh, no, 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 she can't do this. If she feels bad, then I'll feel bad. So, Max, this smoothie is for you. And now I feel bad. <laughs> Push me. Baby, wait! Okay, I don't know what this is all about, but I'm really glad you're here. I need to tell you something. It's okay, I already know. I never meant for you to get hurt. Well, it's not like I didn't deserve it. I stole your ideas. But you made them better. You're actually a great class president, and you should be making the first smoothie. You're a good president. No, you're a good president. No, you're a good president. We're here to make smoothies! That doesn't sound very healthy. That was meant for me, wasn't it? Don't ruin the moment. 